Oh, I'm going to look at the Reddit. So far at level 52, this feels worse than season one. Jesus. Okay, so this guy doesn't like the season so far. The one who thought that Deep One needed more annoying traps to slow you down and tipped around them with the horrible top down controls. And not intended for such fine movements. All while the billion mobs in the spell effects obscure your vision of them. And God forbid you're a melee or shred druid and you have to be choose between standing still and not attacking anything or running into traps and hit mobs that are killing you from range. Bolts will go down as the worst content of D4 game. Wait, of any D4 game ever. Calm down, bro. Jesus. They're going to make worse shit. Vaults. They're the same as I've done with the nine traps. Less loot in the last room. When Liberty Elite spawn on you, they don't drop loot or XP. Lol. I can't stop laughing about this. I'm still disappointed. I had a really good time with season two and was hoping to keep on the good tasks rolling. Wait, what are people replying to this thing? The sad thing is I'm having more fun playing Diablo 3 season 30 recycle content than Diablo. <laughs> D3 season 30 slaps at the moment. I can season 30 lives ago. We just had one of the in, uh, twos and are farming our ass off. It's amazing. Give D4 12 years and it's fine. Oh, holy shit. What the fuck? Uh, take something POE that people don't even like. Uber Labs, make it worse and more boring. And we've got season three volts. Okay, that's not that bad, dude. Redownloaded Diablo 4, hop onto Diablo 4 Reddit, see what people are liking in the new season. Scroll for a few minutes, uninstall D4. That's a normie sheep. Um, looks bad as soon as it was announced. Massive step back from season 2. On level 29, I'm already bought it out of my mind. Holy shit, it's like... What the fuck? This is crazy. This is not even sorted by controversial, by the way, chat. This is literally like, just normal comments. These are upvoted comments. Well, I guess we have to wait last epoch. Until then, it's back to power world. <laughs> Speak of the devil, chat. Uh, holy shit, look at this guy. Lamo, I guess we should only play the even-numbered seasons. Oh, shit. It's like classic Star Trek movies. The season is the opposite. Uh, the season is completely opposite and painfully unfun. The traps in the vault is punishing in a way that is designed to purely waste players' time. I'm not sure if my robot is doing anything while I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling, dude. I'm like, you're like, fuck, is it working? Like, is it doing anything? Like, does that have a cooldown? Like, is it even attacking? I can't tell. Agree. Clash shooting itself in the foot. How many times does the player have to... Uh, Say that we absolutely hate shitty obstacles that just slow us down. <laughs> I'll be honest, the traps aren't even that offensive to me at all. I mean, if it was more rewarding, mate. I feel like I just need to make it more rewarding and people won't complain as much. They want a sanctum but end up with lab. <laughs> it's, it is some sort of weird hybrid, right? How has PoE been thinking of trying out? It's a bit too complex for my taste. And someone who prefers saying solo, I don't like PoE much because it's reliant on trading due to how complex the game is. The guy's just so stupid. He's just making shit up. What are you on about? It's literally worse with trading. The game's objectively worse with trading. Bro, what is he talking about? I don't like PoE so much because it's over reliant on trading. Due to how complex the game is, that is the most brain dead take I've ever heard. There's literal, like, fucking multiple versions of SSF. The entire, like, the guy, the guy who made the game said the game is best enjoyed solo cell found. Yep, there it is. To the test, actually play the game they create. I seriously doubt they do. Who could actually find such a gameplay loop fun? If you read the recent interview with the poet creator, they said uh, they are all amateur game designers, but they wanted to design, uh, want to create a game. They think games will find it fun. A recent interview with PoE lead designer also shows they know how the inside game ended out, and you see the passion when they're talking about the game, what sort of experience they want to deliver. I really do not want to hate on the devs, as I believe these uh, instructions from the top make them this way. In respecting. 
Game devs will find it so crushing to deliver such a product to the masses. Yeah, this is what I was saying yesterday. The difference between, um, you know, D4 and PoE and D4 and whatever, a, 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 good, a good game and a bad game. Often these large AAA games are not made from a seed of passion uh, or like a, a really cool idea that a bunch of guys who like gaming got, like had and they're like, yo, let's make that. It's no, a bunch of suits say, make the fucking next installment of a large AAA game um, and we want to earn this much money. And that, like, we're going to hire this many people to program it. And these guys, you're going to be running it. You know, your job is to get these guys to, you know, make art. Your job is to make these. And then that's where, versus a few guys in a basement who have an idea for a really fucking awesome game. And they love gaming. And then they start building up and they just make something that they fucking love. And then it grows naturally from there. And it grows into a beautiful fucking tree. You know, like it grows into a beautiful game. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this emo, dude. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> Fucking Pepeora is like. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> it's like he's looking at the camera like that, dude. Because he is. God damn, damn.